Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce with another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about baking lighting. So we'll be going from this to this. And this lighting is baked into this texture. You can see the texture over here. Um, and uh, yeah, this this will be sort of the final, final result. And uh, before we jump in, I just want to talk a little bit about baking lighting. So Typically, if you're you're going from Blender to a game engine like Unity or Unreal, there are some pros and cons to baking light in Blender and baking light in Un Unreal or Unity, um, and it depends completely on your workflow, your experience, um, your team. If you have a developer, you'll definitely have the most flexibility with lighting with baking lighting in Unity or Unreal. Um, but if you're if you have a pro if you're working with a programmer who's not really uh, great with lighting. Um, that's a great example of when it might be good to bake in Blender. And if, similarly, if you're making, if you're a one-man band and you're using Blender for art and Unity for uh, making your game, especially if you know what you're doing from the beginning to the end, uh, it might be better to just bake in Blender because you can get some really great results and um, and really realistic lighting just using Blender. So, uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in. So I'll just switch this back. Uh, to the reg regular texture, and we can switch into rendered mode just so you can see, uh, you know what what it looks like uh, when it's rendered, and then I'll switch back to material preview just so it'll load faster. Um, so, and I should also say before I go too far is that I'm in the UV editing tab, and I've just pulled down a window from the top, and uh, I've gone down to my shader editor, and that's how I I pulled this up over here, and so. I have this ground plane selected, which is what I want to bake my lighting to. Um, so baking, so and I'm going to do this without simple bake. I'm going to do it the regular, regular old baking way. Uh, so <clears throat> one thing you want to, so what you want to do is uh, in your image editor, or you can do it in a few different places, but I'm going to do it in the image editor. Create new image, and you can do whatever res resolution you want. I'm going to do 4K because it is a ground plane. It's pretty big. So I'll call this bricks baked two. So I've already done this once. I don't need the alpha. I'm just going to increase uh, file size. So I'm going to and just get rid of that. So now we have our bricks baked two image. Um, and then what you need to do is um, let's see. I guess I'll just keep this here, but I'll move it up. In your in your material, do sh you know, shift A. To bring up this add box, then you can do search image texture. Click on that, and then I'll just zoom in here so you can see a little better. You click on this icon, and you can bring in whatever images you have. We're going to do bricks baked two, okay? And then this is really important. You have to have this selected, okay? You have this selected. So uh, the other thing you have to make sure is that your uh, object has already been UV unwrapped. If it hasn't been UV unwrapped, you need to un unwrap it first. If you don't know about that, then you should uh, probably just stop this tutorial and go learn about uh, UV unwrapping. Uh, I'm probably going to do some tutorials on that as well. If that's something you want to see, just let me know. But it definitely has to be UV unwrapped before this is going to work. So with this selected, we go into the render tab. It has to be cycles. It has to be CPU. And then under the bake, you have, like we were looking at before, we have different options. Um, and for baking lighting, you have two options. You could do diffuse with direct, indirect, and color. You could do diffuse with just the indirect, uh, or or just you know one of th one of these. You can also do combined pass with the same thing: direct, indirect, diffuse. But you could also include ambient occlusion, for for instance. Um, so for now, all I'm really all I'm really interested in is the diffuse, direct, indirect, and color. Uh, now, unlike baking PBR textures out, or if you were just if you were if you weren't dealing with baking and lighting, then your render setting here could be one, and that would be fine. But because we're dealing with lighting, if we render one, and I guess I'll go ahead and do that so you can see what it looks like, it's not going to look very good. <laughs> it's not going to look good at all. Uh, let, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and render that. So I'm going to push save. All right. So with my object selected, uh, I go back up in this this. Uh, um, in my material, my, my shader up here, my shader, shader editor, I make sure that nothing else is selected except this bricks baked to, 
and down here I have this up. It doesn't need to be up, but this is going to show us what it looks like at the end result. So I'm going to have that up there. And now I can do bake. So let me come down here and push bake. And since we only have one sample, it should render pretty fast. So there we go. This is our image. And if you zoom in, you can see it's just total grain. It just looks terrible. <laughs> but you do get to see that, hey, this is more or less the desired this is the result I'm kind of going for. I just need more samples. So that's good. It, it's probably good to go ahead and do it this way, especially if you're brand new to this. Do one sample, render, and see what it, see what the result is before you go too far. Um, and now what we can do, uh, I think I am going to just delete this because I think uh, I don't want it to. I, don't, I, I just want to start this from scratch. So now in your shader editor, what, what you can do is if you bring in this uh, this texture to the surface, uh, you can see the result. And again, we realize that the result is terrible right now, but that's that's because mostly because of our our samples here. It, it's also partially due to the the size, especially if you have a really 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 large ground plane. Uh, you know, if you have a 2K image for that or 1k image or even a 4k image depending on the size it might not be enough so but basically it's it's the uh, sampling and the texture size that's going to determine the quality of this so let's just go ahead and do it again so if i just push bake right now it, we would not uh in fact let's just go ahead and do it it'll screw this up but if i clicked on this right and i push bake uh it's going to screw this up and the reason it's going to screw it up is what we're telling it is uh it, it, so when we had this before we had it set up like this okay this is the bake tab here is is looking at everything that we've selected so we're, we're doing uh, diffuse so it's looking at uh, the diffuse here the base color and it's looking at this information plus the lighting to bake onto here so if we if we just go from here to here it's ba trying to bake an image to itself and it just doesn't know what it's supposed to do so make sure that before you bake again you you get it back to where it's supposed to be and then you highlight this material make sure nothing else is selected click that and then we can do bake again this time we're gonna up the samples I'm gonna do I'll do 600 um, you might have to play with these settings depending on your lighting depending on your indirect lighting your shadows everything else you might be able to get away with 64 you might be able to go with a few hundred you might have to go up to like a thousand uh, unfortunately, you can't really denoise this with Blender, so you you probably will have to do more samples than you're than you're no, than you're used to. But either way, it doesn't really matter. It's going to save us a lot of time in the in the long in the long run. So let's just go ahead and push bake. So before I push bake, I'm just going to triple check. I've got bricks baked two selected. Yep. Okay. This texture looks correct. This is how it's supposed to look. Uh, all right. Everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and push bake, and I'll pause it while we wait. Okay, that took a long time. I should have tried less samples, <laughs> but that's all right. The result looks uh, pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the result. So, um, so the first thing you always want to do is save this image right away, and I like to save it. Yeah, so you can push Alt S when you're hovering over this one. You can push Alt S to save it, or you can go to Image, and then Save or Save As, and then you can do Baked Bricks Baked Two wherever you want to put it. Um, I'm just going to leave these fine for now. And then if we go back here, uh, now we can see the result here if we just select color and we go over to surface and then there you go. There's our, our, uh, our baked lights. And so yeah, this is obviously going to be a lot more performant. We could probably, if we switch over to rendered view, um, we can go over to, let me just set, yeah, none. You port 32, that'd be fine. So this is with, so let's let's do without first. So let's click on this. So without our baked image, uh, you can look at these samples here, these path tracing samples, right? So if I move this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever, right? You can see how slow that's moving. Let's see what, how, how, how different that is when we move this over. See how fast that's moving now? I can't even say it that fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Uh, and you can see it 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 basically renders in 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 real time even in uh, cycles here, which is great. Obviously, if we had all these also baked, this would be uh, this would be actually running in real time. Would be running like uh, material preview here. Um, so in in game engine, obviously that's huge. But also in uh, rendering, if you're if you're going to do a render, 
Uh, let's see what it would take. Let's go ahead and um, we'll do this. I'll keep it on CPU just so we'll see a little bit under a little bit better. So I have a camera here. I'll push F12 to render. So this is without the baked uh, image, and this is running on my CPU. That'll give us a little bit better, uh, more drastic results, I think, than if I was running on my GPU. So there's something weird going on. I don't know what, what this uh, brick is in the back. Oh, it might be the other. Yeah, I think I have another texture back there that's hidden from the view right now. But that's okay. It doesn't really matter for this test. So it takes us about... Forty-three seconds. So let's go to a new layer. Uh, so that was two. Let's go to three. And let's switch to our new texture, our baked texture. And now if you push F12 to render, <clears throat> you can visually see it's going way faster. Um, and yeah, we're going to be done in a fraction of the time for sure. Uh, obviously, this would render a lot faster on my GPU. But again, for, for these results, uh, this will be good. <clears throat> But you can see definitely, so, all right, before I lose my train of thought here, so 24 seconds as opposed to 43 seconds, and the, the result is the same. So uh, so you could definitely see, like, if you're doing an animation, even in Blender, uh, that could save you so much, so much time. Or if you have to do render after render after render after render, and, for instance, especially with, like, a ground plane or something like that, that's never going to change. Uh, yeah, there could, there could, there's a lot of reasons why it might be good to, uh, to bake that out. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial. Um, I hope that was useful. I hope you, you can uh, apply this in your own games, your own projects. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to see. And yeah, take care.